Hi everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here. So I'm here with Callie, and we are going to be doing just a little bit of an inform, like an informational, it helpful educational video. There it is on the different some of the different varieties of robos. Now we don't have every single variety of robo in this house. However, we do have a seriously large amount of them, and so I thought it would be most logical to start with an agouti. So as you can see, Callie has two old man eyebrows. She has a white white cheeks and a white tummy. And then on the back, she has a tan with like a darker undercoat. So that is the classic robo, like robo appearance. That is what you most people think of when they see a robo. And she is, she's my, they are my favorite color personally. Okay. Okay. So next up we have a pied. So this is the agouti coloring. She does not want to cooperate. The agouti coloring, but with it's more broken with more white, uh, like patches of the agouti coloring. They also don't have like noticeable eyebrows. This little one's got face splooches, which is, that's the official terminology. And so this is just the agouti coloring, but with patches on it. And that is called a pied. Okay, next up, we have this super cooperative girl. So this is, oh, focus. there we go. This is what's called an umbris. This is actually a really rare color um, in robos. It's a very rare gene. And this is a umbris agouti. So technically she should have eyebrows, but we're not really sure where they went as she is um, pretty, one of the first of her kind. And what they look like, let's see if she can cooperate. So they are all like the same as the agouti, all cut like all color on the back and then white cheeks and tummy. Um, the color is like a dark, dark gray, but we call it umbris. Some call it black depending on where you are in the world, but focus. But yeah, that's that is an umbris agouti, and she is not happy with me at all. And then the last one from this cage that I thought I'd show you is actually an umbris pied. So this is Orca. This is their mom. So Orca is the umbris color, so the dark gray. However, she has the pied patterning. Let's see if she'll let me show you. Just like that on the back, where she's mostly white, but she has splotches of the darker color. So that is Orca, and she is an umbris pied. Okay, and the second last color that we're going to talk about is Sashimi here. She is what's called a husky. Now, I wanted to put her in a clear bin so that we could see her color properly. And because it is very, it is different from the agouti coloring, but it's kind of difficult when I'm holding her to show you. So at first you might think it looks the same. However, it's actually a lighter color. Some, a lot of people call these guys the blondes of the like robo community. She also has no, um, like no face mask, so no eyebrows. It's just a white face with a nice blonde, really pretty blonde color. This is actually one of my favorite colors. I think it's my favorite other than a goody. And I think it's so pretty. Yeah, and that is the husky coloring. So we will move on now to the last one. Okay, and the last color is another one that it's a lot easier if I can show you just with them running around, is what's called husky white. So upon first glance, these guys might look like just all white robos. However, if you look at this baby right here, you can see that there's a gr clear gray undercoat on their backs. And that is what makes them unique and also very, very uncommon. Uh, it's a very specific uh, genetic cocktail that makes these guys. And Pearl and her babies are very uncommon here. I've never seen them until, until these guys and I think they're very stunning. They're almost too pretty to be real. Look at the pink nose, it's so pink. Okay, folks, so that actually concludes our video about the some of the different hamster varieties. There's two others called uh, just like a white-faced agouti. I think that, I don't know the official name, and then a head spot, um, but I don't have examples of those to show you today. However, I thought this was a great variety and a great way to show you some of the different varieties of these lovely hamsters. Take care, everyone. We'll see you real soon.